Hi everyone, I'm Tracy and welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorites and a lot of these are brushes that I've had for a while. Maybe they were favorites a long time ago or with some of them I didn't even try them when I got them and I've been kind of forcing myself to try my older brushes, ones that I didn't really give a chance to. And um, I'm actually really, really liking some of them. So I'm gonna share those with you. Some of them you might have heard if you've been following me for a while. So um, let's just get started. I'm gonna do as many as possible without this video getting too long. So I'm gonna start out with some of the brushes I've been using for my cream products. Um, one that I picked, I kind of took out of storage because I did that um, best of Hokoto brushes or my Hokoto brush collection is the Hokoto BZ2. Now I did like this for cream contour before I think uh, but I just hadn't used it and you know because I pulled it out I've been loving it. I've been using it every day. It's the perfect size. It's the the angle is, is not too extreme so for me it fits into this little um, hollow really nicely and I've been getting really, really great results. If you want something more dramatic, you know, just put more on. And I think this is a really good brush for someone just starting out with cream contour because, you know, as long as you're um, dipping this in the product like flat, it gets on the brush very evenly. And, you know, for me, it's the right size. So if you're having a hard time doing that, I think this is a really good one to um, start out with. So that's the BZ2. And then these two, I, I've talked about these um, in the past. And one I've had for a long time, and that is the, the Ruffer number four. And kind of in the same vein, I'm gonna add, I've been using the um, Ruffer 37. The, the number four I've had for a while, and this is my most used Refer face brush, and I use this just for cream blush, and it's it's just to me the perfect cream blush brush. The the size, the shape, the density. I prefer my um, cream product brushes to be a little bit fluffier because I'm really concerned with products lifting my foundation, which happens quite a lot. But with this one, you never have to worry about that. If you're not into an angled blush brush, the 37, I think is another great option. I use this for cream bronzer, blush, and for kind of pressing in my foundation. It's a little more dense than the, than the number four, so it's gonna apply a little bit ha more heavily, but it's a super, the number 37 is a very versatile brush. So if you do get this and you don't use it for cream products, I'm sure you'll find a, a use for it. So this is the my favorite of the newer rougher brushes that were released this past year. And then, okay, now I have some eye brushes and this one, this brush is amazing. I don't know why I never used it and I'm so, I'm like kicking myself for not using this sooner because it is it's a real, it, I'll just explain it. It's the Curato KT, KT003 and it's a weasel hair brush and it's 12 millimeters. For me, that's a really um, good size for putting on shimmers. And just, let me if I can compare it to something else. I mean, just look how much hairs you get compared to like the Hakuhodo horse hair brush. This is the 242. You're getting a lot of brush and you're getting a type of hair that is normally very expensive and this brush is not. And I'm gonna actually demo this for my shimmer because I need to pull a little bit more on. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. And this is the only thing I've used it for and it's just it's just so good for this purpose so if you're looking for a weasel hair brush for packing shimmers and you don't want to spend too much this one is just amazing you don't get fallout so i'm going to put a little bit of this light shimmer 
on the inner part of my eye right here. I already have shimmer on, but just so I could show you how I've been using it. So I hope, hope you guys can see what this brush does but i'm yeah i'm really really enjoying it also it has a wood handle and it's very very nice it's not like super lacquered but it's very smooth and it has this um it's a very unique kind of um bronze um ferrule very very nice very well made and i think this is a very underrated brush so yeah, I wanted to mention the KT003. In fact, I have a lot of creative brushes that I never really gave a chance to. So I'm starting to dip into those and I'm finding out that they're really, really nice brushes. So that is one I wanted to share. And then this one, I'm not gonna spend too much time because I talk about it a lot. Maybe my number one or two favorite liner brushes, that's the MB, the Mizuho MB133. It's, it's, it's a perfect brush if you want to line, you know, the lower lash line. Also, I've been kind of changing the way I do my liner. I'm going like in the inner part, like I'm lining the entire eye instead of just the outer part. And this brush makes that task so much easier. It's very comfortable. It's, um, I think it's, weasel and synthetic mix but it's this is just such a good brush if you're putting an order in with cd japan or food aid japan or food aid beauty or any of those just just add this you're not going to regret it another brush i've been using for this purpose since i've been trying to like you know up my eyeliner game is the bisciotto bes8 i'll put the i'll list them all all below and I got this is a pretty new one so I'm not really saying like favorite because I've only been using it for maybe the last month but I'm a big fan of the Bisciotto long series and this this was like a kind of last minute add to my order because I it's, it's a very unique shape it's very small um I don't I'll put the type of material down below. I don't actually know what kind of material this is, but it is surprisingly soft. Like it's it's silky. I think this is a weasel hairbrush, but it's it's soft like a goat hairbrush or like a squirrel hairbrush. And again, this is good for a very thin, precise line. Um, maybe not quite as thin as the Mizuho I just talked about, but a really solid brush if you want to do your eyeliner in, in style I think this is a great option and not terribly expensive if you want to get an idea of what the Bisciotto long series is like and not invest too much I think this is a good place to start so those are the liner brushes I've been using and then um, this is another one I got some time ago and I just never used it. I'm not sure why, but it's a very popular brush. And that is the Koyomo, the, the Koyomo Nare, Nadeshiko um, flat eyeshadow brush. So this is comparable to like the refer number one or the Hakuhodo J5523 but it's a little different in that it's a little more firm and it's a little thicker. And I do think it performs a little differently. I don't know if it's because I haven't used this one that much, but I feel like there's this little hair stuck there is bothering me. Anyways, this, I feel like it's a little bit, um, it applies a little bit more heavily. So like, for example, when I start out my, the matte shade to like create definition, I'll use this around here and here. So I, um, yeah, it, it's a totally solid brush. 
I'm not saying better than these two that I've been using for a long time, but definitely worth checking out. I have the round ferrule in this style, but I don't use that one. And I don't know why, I maybe it's just, I never used it, but I think this is a great brush, uh, really short. So if you wanna travel with it, and I just wanted to share, cause I think when I got this, like I wasn't very impressed for some reason, but now that I've been really, you know, giving it a try, I really do like it. So that's the Koyomo. I'm not gonna go too much into this one cause I've been talking about it a lot, but that this one I've been using nonstop, the Bisciotto GB1. I use this to start out my eye look. It's made of super soft gray squirrel hair. It's probably my most luxurious eye brush because you're getting this beautiful ebony wood handle and the gold ferrule and very, very high quality um, squirrel hair. So, you know, I use this to start out my look, to, to set my lids and um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying this one still. Okay, and then these two, um, I, I know I've mentioned it before, but I started using these for blush and highlighter, and I'm really enjoying it for those purposes. And that is the Tansedo. Um, so one is the YWS 12T, which is the smaller one, and this is the YWS 14T, so just it's a little bigger. And these are made of uh, tea dyed goat hair. And I got the long handles, but you can get these in the shorter handles. And um, when they say long handle, these are really long. So, um, but I have traveled with these. And the reason is because you can do so many things with it. Also, these aren't terribly expensive. The hairs aren't super fragile. So I'm not worried if it gets a little smashed or something. So I can feel I'm comfortable, you know, traveling with this one, with these. And I've been recently using it for the cream highlighter that came in the Natasha Denona Love Face Palette. Now, that is not, it's not like a true cream product, but it is, I think it's considered a cream. It's more of a like cream to powder, but I really like these because it does, you know, because it has a, a, that point, that kind of like sharp point, you can do a highlighter really well. And if you want a little more, you can put it on like this. I, I also like this smaller one for cream blush. If you want to just put a little bit of color, actually, let me, let me demo these. I could use a little bit more. So I'll use the smaller one for the blush and then I'll use the larger one for the highlighter. Oh, you know what? I think I have B-roll of this. Um, okay, I have B-roll of these with the highlighter, but let me show it to you with the blush. So this is the um, Natasha Denona Cream Blush Formula. Her cream blush formula is not very sticky. It's a little bit on the drier side, which is how I prefer my blushes to be. So it works really well with these, with these brushes. And it's gonna apply very lightly because these are not dense brushes at all. It's really hard to overdo it with these. So see how beautifully it put that blush on without without really like it doesn't look like like well you're wearing blush i think this is just a beautiful way to do a very natural look so yeah these two i'll link them below i'm really enjoying them it took me a while to figure out how to use these like what they would be best at but i did travel with these a few months ago i think i think i just had this one and i used it for um, my foundation, my cream contour, my cream bronzer, and my cream blush. Like I, I cleaned it. They're really easy to clean. So I think these are very versatile, not terribly expensive, but at the same time, very beautifully made brushes. So yeah, I really do like this one. I would say the, the larger one, 
the 14 T is more useful I think you can do more with this it's really nice for doing cream contour if you want a very lightly contour and um, I would you know, if I do get another one of these I would get the shorter handle because it's yeah they're just a little a little much but you can also get a red handle or a black handle I just prefer the blue ones okay so um, yeah so those are the brushes that have been on my vanity and I've been using you know very regularly and I just you know wanted to share those with you guys some of these I haven't talked about you know in a long time since probably the haul and some of these I didn't use till recently since I first got them so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time bye